This little RC helicopter looks great on paper, promising lots of nice functions like obstacle avoidance, auto takeoff and land, a mobile app and a 4K camera. But does all this sound too good to be true from a cheap $30 military inspired RC helicopter? So we're going to give this little helicopter a chance. Now the one thing I would say every time I see these cheap little helicopters and some of the drones as well, they always promise to be really good straight out the box and whenever you see the reviews they always turn out to be 10 times worse than advertised. Now surely Banggood wouldn't send me something like that to review on my channel. I've been doing reviews for them since January 2021 and they've never let me down so I'm really hoping this thing is as good as they say. Before we do anything else let's take a quick look at what we get in the box. So this is the controller then and it does feel quite cheap feels quite cheap and nasty to be fair now yes this is a 30 dollar drone so what do you expect but it does feel incredibly cheap now i have been studying the badly translated manual to try and work out what all these buttons do now, i think i've got a slight idea so i think these two buttons here are our auto takeoff and land functions i think that is our obstacle avoidance function that's our calibrate function uh, we've also got demonstration mode uh, I think that is some sort of height assist, maybe. I'm not entirely sure. The instruction manual is really badly translated, uh, and I think that switches the LED lights on and off. And then finally, the top right button there is the, uh, the battle mode. You've got your speed adjustment button there, and then a video capture or photo capture button on the top right corner. Overall, not too bad. As long as it functions properly, it doesn't really matter. Again, this is a $30 drone, but this does feel a bit nasty. You've got a little flip out mount there which you can use to mount your mobile phone because this does have a mobile app and I have had a brief look at it and again it is primarily in Chinese and it's not easy to understand. Also in the box we get a USB charging cable, some spare blades, the black and white manual which I was talking about earlier and again it has been translated into English and it's not great. We've got a 1S 550 milliamp hour LiPo battery which has a charging time of approximately one hour. We've got the landing skids for the helicopter and finally a small screwdriver. So back to the KY202 then, also known as the Black Bee. Now I think it looks really cool and they've obviously got their inspiration from the Hornet, the Black Hornet I believe it's called, which is a military drone. Banggood have sent me the yellow version but you can also get this in grey. This is a four channel helicopter and it does have an inbuilt gyro. Now we have got some LEDs there as you can see and you can turn those on and off using the controller. I believe there is also a 1080p camera mounted underneath the helicopter and that can give you a view of the ground and I think that probably helps with the uh, obstacle avoidance maybe. Again I don't know every single detail about this because there isn't really a clear description on the Banggood website but it does look good. And then at the front we've got another LED light and our 4k camera. But is this actually going to be 4k ready? Do you know what guys? I don't think it is. Now what I do want to show you is some footage that they've used uh, in the advertisement for this little helicopter take a look at this and as you can see the quality is excellent this is something you would expect from a 4k drone now what i would say is i really don't think we're going to be seeing quality like that from this little drone today and we're going to talk a little bit more about that towards the end of the video now if you want to download the app for this little drone you'll be able to grab it on the ios and the android app store but what i would say is it is primarily in chinese once again and it is going to be quite difficult to use the only issue is if you want to use the photo and the video functions on this you will need the app right so i've got the battery fitted let's see how this little thing flies right so let's switch the controller on first that is on now the helicopter that is ready to go right so let's see how this little thing flies then now i've decided not to fit the landing skids because i want to see if we can get a little bit of extra runtime. now i'm going to try and get this thing to take off on its own using the auto takeoff mode and then i'm going to hover on the spot and then try and see if it will land on its own as well whoa ah okay so twice we've had the same issue i'm not sure if it's the wind or it's the calibration so we're going to try and recalibrate this let's see if that's made any difference oh what is going on i just can't seem to get it to 
fly up and hover in one spot. But what I have managed to do is get the app working so we can capture video directly from the little helicopter now. And what I want to show you is the video quality. Does that look like a 4K piece of footage? And does that look like the advert? I don't think it does. Not only that, but looking at some of the settings on this app, it does look really confusing. I mean, what does all of this mean? I'm guessing this is like your calibration button there. We've got our obstacle avoidance, gesture control, that sort of stuff. It's not a very well set out app and it is a little bit confusing. Right, so we've got a nice view of the field, as you can see. Let's hit the photo button. I'll stick that on the screen now for you to check out. And I'll take another one. There we go. Let me know what you think of the image quality of this little drone in the comment section down below. All I know is this thing isn't 4K and I'd be surprised if it's even 720p. After testing out the photo and video mode, I decided to take off once again and see if I could get some decent flight time out of this thing. Now the good news is it did fly, but it really doesn't like the windy conditions out here in the field and I think it'll be better suited to an indoor environment. You're probably better off flying this thing indoors in your living room and around the house rather than taking it out and trying to fly it out in the field. It's not a very big helicopter, it is extremely lightweight and it will just get blown about. Now we all know sometimes things aren't quite as they seem when we purchase things from sites like Banggood and AliExpress and once again today we have seen that we have seen that this thing isn't 4k ready and it's really not as good as they say it is and this is one of the reasons why I tend to stick to cars from Banggood here on the channel because I've seen it on so many other channels uh, these cheap drones and these cheap helicopters really aren't as good as they seem and nothing can compare to a proper drone from a proper company like DJI and that's the reason why I always skip them but look today was different it was nice to try something new I've never said yes to reviewing something like this before and I know for a fact this will be the last time now we have to be fair to this little thing it is only 25 pounds or 30 dollars they're great just to add to your basket to have some fun with at home or to give it to a kid to have some fun with but please don't think you're going to get any decent footage off this because this is the best you're going to get now if you do still want one of these cheap little helicopters I will leave a link down below for you to head over to Banggood where you can check this thing out in more detail and you can grab a grey one or a yellow one. So we're going to leave the video there today. I really hope you enjoyed seeing this little helicopter in action. Yes, not a great flight, but it's cheap and it is a lot of fun when it works.